Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the overhead, and I want to show you three fundamental parts to the overhead, which if you apply into your stroke, will give you a consistent, accurate, and yet powerful overhead. Now, the first thing is, I like to describe this stroke as an overhead and not a smash. I feel that when it's a smash, we tend to arm the ball too much and often go for too much power and not enough placement. So think of it as an overhead and not just a smash. And the first fundamental that many players get wrong with the overhead is the footwork. You see, the natural thing to do if I'm right-handed is to pivot as I go sideways off the right foot. And if I pivot off the right foot, then I go forwards into the court. And that means that I'm not going to be able to cover space behind me very efficiently. Whereas if I rotate or pivot off the left foot, then now I'm covering the space very efficiently. It makes about one and a half meters difference as I go forwards or as I go back. So the first thing is that we make the pivot off the left foot. The second thing that's important is that the left arm goes high up to the sky towards the ball. The reason for this is very simple. There's a lot of space up there. And when the ball is coming down with nothing to orientate where the ball is in relation to you, then it's very difficult to time the ball. So we tend to get a lot of miss hits. But if the left arm is up here, then now I can see the ball as it approaches the left hand. And consequently, it's easier to judge the distance and speed of the ball. So the depth perception is easier. So the second thing is that the left arm stays up. And to practice this, you can have somebody send lobs. And instead of hitting the ball, you leave the left arm up and simply catch the ball and freeze. And then alternate between catching the ball and freezing and then thinking you're gonna catch the ball and no, change your mind and hit it at the last moment. And the third fundamental to the overhead that many, many players get wrong, this is the one that you so often see incorrect. And that is that the overhead is different to the serve. In the take back for the serve, we're going to go into a trophy pose here. And so now I have a long and languid buildup into the serve position. But with the overhead, we wanna hit that position faster and in a more abbreviated fashion. So simply bring the racket above the head and see how close the hand and the racket are. You can almost make it as a unit and now just slightly separate the unit and bring them into that position. There's a lot of reasons for this. First of all, the serve stroke uh, is a long stroke and it takes a long time to get into position. This is a quick stroke. So see how quickly I can be in position, ready to track down the lob and power it into the corners. The second factor is coordination. You see, when I'm in the trophy pose here, then I've got maybe two meters of swing path to coordinate to contact. But if I'm in this short abbreviated position here, then I have about half of the length of swing path to actually coordinate. So the coordination of the stroke is way, way easier. So put the three parts together, pivot off the left foot, make sure that the left arm stays up as long as it possibly can in the direction of the ball, and then bring this abbreviated stroke over the top of your head and you'll have a more accurate, more consistent and more powerful overhead. If you like my ideas, check out our books on Amazon. The books are truly unique because every part of the game has clear illustrations and then very good explanations and then everything is linked to YouTube videos so you can see the movement, you can see the diagrams and you can see or read the explanations. Or join players in over 40 countries that I'm helping with one-to-one -one online coaching. For more information on this, check out the website or email me. So remember, three parts. Pivot off the left foot, use the left arm to track the ball, and make sure that the racket is coming up in an abbreviated fashion, and you'll have a better, more effective, and more successful stroke. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.